Hello Skull Brothers. Today we're taking a look at Starpoint Gemini 2. This is Ziggy's Skull. Welcome aboard. Released late September 2014, Starpoint Gemini 2 is a single player space adventure game with a little action thrown in. Players explore, trade, and battle their way through the star system. Take missions from different warring factions. Become a merchant or a miner. Be a pirate. Even play as a mechanic repairing stations and structures. Take command of a massive starship in a giant open world star system sandbox full of player choice. When in development, it was compared at length with the title Freelancer. Freelancer was a heavily story-driven space sim with a focus on starfighter piloting. Some people even bought Starpoint Gemini 2 with that in mind. Many who were expecting the Freelancer experience were very disappointed with Starpoint Gemini 2 and spoke out criticizing the title. One comment simply said, Poor man's Freelancer. Starpoint Gemini 2 is definitely not Freelancer or anything close. But the real question is, does that make it a disappointing title? Let's start with the bad. There is an inherent lack of cutscenes and content that most games rely on to help immerse the player and make the setting come to life. Ships are not shown docking with stations or landing on planets. When docking with a station or planet, the UI freezes, the menus appear in an overlay, and all interaction takes place with the menu interface. There isn't any calm chatter or docking procedures when requesting permission to land. The only cue other than the screen freezing and the overlay menus popping is the sound of the engines firing up or cooling down, which honestly is all the difference in the world at this point. Not even a confirmation or thank you when finishing the purchase or sale of cargo and equipment. The voiceovers that the game does have are dull and red. Seems like this game is terrible to hear all the bad about it. But that's just it. Those are the majority of complaints. And let's face it, needing a little extra flavor compared to the plethora of terrible releases by major companies lately, this one is sitting pretty. The gameplay that is there rocks. It plays smooth, it isn't buggy, and there are absolutely no load screens. No load screens. And there is a lot of content people are seeming to enjoy. So Starpoint Gemini 2 isn't the most in-depth space game available. It is, however, a pleasantly addictive mix between the turn-based space trading and exploration games and modern-day 3D space simulators only a lot more user-friendly than most games that let you control a capital ship. Getting comfortable with the controls is fairly simple. It's easy to jump in and start making progress. The game content includes a decent number of different ships to command and items to equip those ships with. The combat looks and feels good. I found myself on the edge of my seat more often than not. Lastly, many of the ship models actually look cool. This is important to me, especially in space games. It's hard to find a space game that I actually like the look of the spaceships and the models. For example, EVE had only a couple models that I actually liked, especially when it came to ships. And it's important to like what you're looking at. That's, after all, one of the main reasons we play games. In fact, this is one of the first things I look for when I pick a space game, and most times it's the first thing I have to compromise on when I finally pick one to play. So all in all, was this game a rip? I don't think so. More like it was a little misunderstood in its release, held to some unreasonable expectations and suffered some disappointed fans due to the hype. The early hype. That was, frankly, completely wrong. But the game itself is fun and provides more hours of gameplay than a lot of recent titles for a similar price. More so, what this game could become in the future is what has me really excited. The modding community is why I'm keeping an eye on this title. I want to see what it develops into. Not only is the modding community active and thriving, 
but developer support from Little Green Men games of the modding community has been par none and has led to a stunning amount of user created content and a lot of it is awesome. The mods are easy to install from the main menu and can be activated or deactivated without installing, uninstalling, and reinstalling if necessary. It makes this game super mod friendly, which means content for this game is going to keep growing. And that is awesome in any game and will most likely end up more in depth than many games that don't have an awesome mod friendly outlook on their titles, which then also get embraced by an awesome mod community. Like a lot of people, I long for a space title that has giant, awesome looking player capital ships with player piloted starfighters, both participating in a giant MMO battle at the same time with their different warring factions. A game where I can command my crew from the actual bridge of my ship's interior. In fact, interiors of ships you can walk around and customize planets and space docks you actually visit with a moving little pixelated representation of yourself. All in one giant sandbox universe MMO. Whether or not modding will bring some of these more elaborate elements to Starpoint Gemini 2 remains to be seen, but what is certain in my opinion is Starpoint Gemini 2 is a step in the right direction. This is Ziggy Skull. Until next time, Skull Brothers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Skull Brothers Entertainment for more videos.